All right, guys. Um, happy Monday. Hope you guys had a good weekend. Um, before we get started on lesson 12, I want to go over the exit ticket answers uh, just to clarify some things um, because it seemed like some of you guys were confused on some specific um, concepts. So we're just going to go over them real quick and then we'll start on lesson 12 for this week. Okay. So number one was 2x plus 8y. Uh, it was telling us to find the greatest common factor first and use the distributive property to write equivalent expressions in factored form. Okay, so the first thing we had to do is find the greatest common factor of 2 and 8. So I'm going to make a list real quick. 2, 8. Okay, the only factors of 2 are 2 and 1. 8 is 8, 4, 2, and 1. Okay, the greatest common factor there is 2. So 2 is going to go outside of the parentheses. Okay, and what we had to do to multiply 2 to get 2x is multiply it by x. What we had to do to 2 to get 8y is multiply it by 4y. And that is our answer to number 1. Okay, number 2, this one... Um, cause a lot of trouble for a lot of you. So we're just going to clarify. Okay. We can't find a greatest common factor for 13 and 15. Okay. Because 13 is a prime number. Okay. So now what we have to look at is the variables. Okay. The variables are now going to be our greatest common factor because they are what shows up in both numbers. Okay. So a and B is going to go on the outside of the parentheses. And on the inside, it's going to be 13 plus 15. Okay, this is the case because there is no greatest common factor for 13 and 15. Okay, other than one. So we're using the variables as the greatest common factor. Okay. So now number three was 20G plus 24H. So I'm going to make a list for 20 and 24. 20, 10, 5, 4, 2, 1. This would be 24, 12, 8, 6, 4, 2, 1. Okay, our greatest common factor here is going to be 4. So that's going to go outside of the parentheses, okay? And it's going to be what we had to do to 4 to get 20G is multiply it by 5G plus what do we had to do to 4 to get 24H? We had to multiply it by 6H. So that is our answer. All right, look over this. And look over your exit ticket if you still have it, just to check your answers. Okay, make sure you understand. All right, now I'm going to head over to get started with lesson 12. If I can find it. There it is. Okay. So lesson 12, the objective for lesson 12 is I can model and write equivalent expressions using the distributive property. So what we're going to be doing in this lesson is just kind of adding on to the concepts that we learned in lesson 11. Okay, so the opening exercise, letter A says create a model to show 2 times 5. Okay, so what I'm going to do is make a little small, a quick tape diagram. Okay, divided into two. Okay, so now I have two. What's gonna go in each box is five. And there is the model to show two times five. For letter B, it says create a model to show two times B or two B. So I'm gonna do another tape diagram. I'm gonna divide it into two parts and each unit is going to contain b and that's how i'm going to show two times b or two b 
All right, let's move on to example one. It says write an expression that is equivalent to two times a plus b in parentheses. Okay, so it says create a model to represent a b. So first, I'm going to do that, or a plus b, sorry. I'm going to do that real quick. And I'm just going to make a tape diagram like this. And this is going to show a plus b. Okay. Then it's telling us the expression 2 times a plus b in parentheses tells us that we have two of the a plus b's. Create a model that shows two groups of a plus b. Okay. So all I'm doing there. I'm going to divide this into four parts, A, B, A, B. Okay, this is A plus B, and this is A plus B. Okay, now it's asking us how many A's and how many B's do you see in the diagram? Two A's and two B's. Okay, and that's showing us two groups of A plus B. All right, let's move on. Example one continues with how would the model look if we group together the A's and group together the B's? Okay, so I'm going to make a tape diagram real quick. Okay. And all I'm doing is grouping together the A's and B's. So this would be 2A. This would be 2B. Okay, it says what expression could we write to represent the new diagram? Well, all we're doing is adding 2A's and 2B's together. So this would be 2A plus 2B. Okay, let's move on. So what conclusion can we draw from the models after equivalent about equivalent expressions well what we can conclude is that 2 times a plus b is equal to 2a plus 2b okay and those are equivalent expressions using the distributive property okay now it's telling us let a equal three and b equal four. So now we're gonna use these values for these variables. Okay, and see if we end up with the same thing. Okay, so let's plug those in. You have two in parentheses, three plus four equal to two times three plus two times four, okay? So, following the rules of operations, we have to do what's in the parentheses first. So three plus four is seven, and now we're gonna multiply that by two. That's gonna give us 14. Okay, now we go on to the next expression. Two times three is six, and two times four is eight. And you add those together, you get 14. And that tells us that these two expressions are equal. Okay. Let's go to example two. It says write an expression that is equivalent to double 3x plus 4y. So the key word here is double. Okay, so an expression we can write is two in parentheses, three X plus four Y. Or if we would just double this, this would be six X plus eight Y. Okay, and those both are equal. 
Okay. Now, how can we rewrite double 3x plus 4y in parentheses? Well, we can do 2 times 3x plus 4y or 6x plus 8y. Okay, just like we did before. Okay, so is this expression in factored form, expanded form, or neither? Well, the first expression is in factored form. First is factored. And the second is expanded. Okay. The first one's in factored form, and the second is in expanded form. Okay, so let's start this problem the same way that we started the first example. What should we do? So we can make a model to show 3x plus 4y. Okay. And this would just show us. three X and four Y. Okay. Now, how can we change the model to show double three X plus four Y? Well, we're just going to double it. Okay, so are there terms that we can combine in this example? Yes. There are six X's and eight Y's. Okay, so we can combine the three the two three X's to make six X and the two four Y's to get eight Y. Okay, so what is an equivalent expression? that we can use to represent two times in parentheses three x plus four y and the equivalent expression like we said before is six x plus eight y and this model is just showing us sorry this model is just showing us why that is true okay so summarize how you would solve this question without the model when there is a number outside the parentheses, I would multiply it by all terms on the inside of the parentheses. So the number outside the parentheses will be multiplied by all the terms on the inside of the parentheses. Okay? In other words, distribute. Okay? Let's move on. So, Example four says write an expression in expanded form that is equivalent to the model below. Okay, so we have 4x plus 5 and then y here. Okay, well, what do you think is going to go in parentheses? What's going to go in parentheses is... 4x plus 5, okay? And on the outside, it's going to be y. Okay, so that model shows y times 
4x plus 5. Okay, at the bottom it's telling us how can we rewrite this expression in expanded form. Well, I'm just going to multiply y to both parts of the inside of the parentheses. So when I multiply y times 4x, I'm going to get 4xy plus, I'm going to do the same thing to 5, 5y. And that is, the, that is the same expression in expanded form. So this is expanded. And this is factored. All right, let's move on to example four. It says write an expression in expanded form that is equivalent to three times seven D plus four E in parentheses. So all we have to do first is multiply three times seven D, which gives us 21 D. And I'm gonna add that to three times four E, which gives us 12 E. And that is our answer in expanded form, okay? So that expression is equal to three times seven D plus four E in parentheses. All right, let's move on to the exercises. Okay, it says create a model for each expression below, then write another equivalent expression using the distributive property. So it says three times x plus y in parentheses. So all this is telling us is we're going to have three groups of x plus y. So I'm just going to make a tape diagram. Okay. This is x, y, x, y, x, y, x plus y, x plus y, x plus y. So there you have it. You have three groups of x plus y. Okay, once we, f we distribute to our original expression, three times x is three x, three times y is three y, and that is the, the equivalent expression using the distributive property. All right, let's try number two. Okay, it says four times two h plus g. So the model for that, I will just make four groups of two h plus g. Okay. So this is 2hg, 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 2h, and g. 2h plus g, 2h plus g, 2h plus g, and 2h plus g. Okay, so there's our model. Now we have to distribute the four into the inside of the parentheses. So first I have to do four times two H, which is eight H, and then four times G, which is four G. And this is the equivalent expression that we get. using the distributor property. All right, let's move on to the exercises. Okay, so exercises three, four, five, and six, I want you to try on your own. So pause the video 
Um, take about five minutes to work these out. It says apply the distributive property to write an equivalent expression in expanded form. Okay, so these are all in factored form. To expand these using the distributive property, we have to multiply the number on the outside of the parentheses to each number on the inside of the parentheses. Okay, so let's try that out real quick. Take about five minutes, pause the video, and come back and turn it on, okay? Okay, so you should have paused the video. So I'm gonna go over these real quick. The first one tells us, number three tells us eight times h plus three in parentheses. This is just telling us that there's eight groups of h plus, plus threes, okay? So I'm gonna distribute eight times h, which gives us eight h plus eight times three, which gives us 24. And that's our answer to number three. Okay, let's look at number four. I'm gonna distribute three times two h, which gives us six h. Then I'm gonna multiply three times seven, which is 21. And that's the answer to number four. Okay, and this is all using the distributive property. It's called that because we're distributing the number on the outside of the parentheses to each number on the inside of the parentheses. Okay, number five tells us five times three X plus nine Y in parentheses. So there's five groups of three X plus nine Y's. So I'm gonna distribute five times three X first, which gives us 15 X plus five times nine Y which gives us 45y, okay? And that's the answer to number five. That gives us an equivalent expression in expanded form. Okay, number six tells us four times in parentheses 11h plus 3g. Okay, so I'm just gonna multiply four times 11h which equals 44H plus four times 3G, which equals 12G. And that is the equivalent expression in expanded form using the distributive property. Okay, so look over these answers again, just to check your understanding. All righty, let's move on. I'm gonna do one more problem. I want you to try on your own, number eight. Okay, it's doing the same thing. Just use the distributive property to write an equivalent and an equivalent expression. So, you're gonna multiply A times 9B, which is gonna give you 9AB or BA, either way, plus not A times 13, which is gonna give you 13A. And that is our answer. All right, guys, if you have issues understanding this concept in lesson 12, Please rewatch the video if you have any questions. Ask me on Google Classroom. Okay, all I want you to do for today on Monday is to watch this video and work out some of the problems on your own. Okay, tomorrow, Tuesday, I will send out the problem set. Okay, and give you instructions on that. Have a great day, guys. See ya.